Hey everybody and welcome to another episode of Koopa TV Live. We're excited, we're back in our studio, we're back on our Facebook page, and it's all about nails. We're back to our normal schedule. Uh, we had a good time doing the NTNA broadcast, but we gotta get down to business and start covering nails again. And I'm really excited because I'm gonna have a special guest for you soon that I will announce, but before we go there, I still want to do all of the basic work I gotta do before we get into this and tell you what today's broadcast is gonna be about. And we're trying something new today and I hope you guys enjoy it. Um, we are doing a brand new format where we have pre-shot the video, we're gonna have some edited video, but we're gonna be able to talk about it live. You, as always, will get to be able to go into the chat and give us your comments, your questions, and we'll be looking at the chat and answering those questions. Uh, today, because this format and this video is all about everything pink and white acrylic structure. Our giveaway kit today is our amazing Dipfinity kit. So if you want to win this amazing kit, make sure you go to koopainc.com forward slash pages forward slash win and enter to win only one time. Don't need to do it several times. And then make sure you like us on Facebook and stay in the chat because you have to be in the chat to win. And while you're there, just be active, ask us questions. We're looking forward to hearing those questions and getting to you about them. So I have an amazing, very exciting special guest today, all the way from Florida, international educator, major global competition champion, and now a member of Team Koopa. Please welcome to our show, Phoenix Van Dyke. Yay! <laughs> we are so lucky to have you here. I am so, so happy to be here. Yeah, it's been a week, it's, hasn't it's it? It's been a great week. We've been so busy. But it's an honor. It's an honor to be part of Team Koopa. So oh, it's an honor you. to have you on Thank the you team. Thank you so much for letting me be so here. So just to give you all a little dose of our reality, we flew, oh, yeah. we flew Phoenix in. We've done an educator training last yep. week. Yep. We worked set up the entire Pasadena Nail Pro show. Mm -hmm. We've been mm -hmm. filming on Monday and Tuesday and now we're doing Facebook Live. And I'm sure while she looks completely rested and beautiful, <laughs> we're probably sending her home to what? Stay in your pajamas for a week? No, no, I, I just keep going back to work, you know? Just keep on moving. I'd be in my pajamas for a week. Real quick, there was several people that came by our booth in Pasadena and I wanted to say a special thank you to you. A lot of times you come by and you watch all of our demos and then you never tell us that you're standing there. And then you send us these pictures and these um, like fangirl messages and I just want to say thank you guys so much for all of you coming to our booth. It, you know, it's like our fans. Those I are know. the people that, that buy our products and make us proud. So It's one thing that I that. especially love about you is that you are always super hyper aware of your fans. Aww. I watch you on Facebook and so I, um, I'm sure the reason that you have such an incredible following is because they feel your love. And I that's what we so. want in the nail industry. We want to feel the love. I feel like a mama. I just want to like take you all and put you under my wings and just take care of you. <laughs> so when we were talking about doing this Facebook Live and trying this brand new format, because yeah. this is the first time we've ever done, we started this out with NTNA Live, yeah. this Let's Sit and Chat. Yeah. And it was Richard's, actually, actually it was Richard's idea to do yeah. this new format because whenever we do Facebook Live and the artist is working, you have to have your brain going 50 million directions so many different on directions. what you're doing, mm -hmm. on me asking you a question, mm -hmm. on you answering the question, mm -hmm. and still looking fabulous live. Yeah. So it's, I am it's hoping... It's not very fair. It's not. So we <laughs> freed better. your brain up yeah. from your hands. Yeah, this is so good. And so the new format's <laughs> going to be we're going to watch what she has done yes. throughout the stages. We're going to be able to talk about it. And between each of the you know chapters of this broadcast mm -hmm. we're gonna take your comments your questions you know we've yeah, got great yeah we get a whole hour so uh, like bend super, her ear yes please be super super interactive and I know um, a lot of you that are fans of Koopa that like the education that we provide with our tutorials things like that um, this is an opportunity for you to see something that 
hundreds of people have been asking me for. So if you're excited about this, please press the share button and make sure that you share this live with everybody that you can in your groups, things like that, because the education mm -hmm. you're getting ready to receive is pretty exciting. So, so we're going old, sure you do that. sort of old school. I call it old school because it, it kind of we've school. we've gone colorful for a few years here. For a long time. But pink and white mm -hmm. haven't died completely. There's a lot of um, there's like this huge gap between people that graduate nail school and people who are really really successful in the nail industry. And this is where we're coming in is like this middle part. So we're coming back to some of the basics, which is super important. And you know, pink and white are classic. They are super mm -hmm. classic. And like you said, they don't ever go out of style. Yeah. I so, feel they're a very technical skill too. It is, and, and once you've mastered it, mm -hmm. it's like, Phew, I can do anything. Yeah, yeah. definitely, and I, yeah. I feel like um, through the years where nail art has become so predominant in our industry mm -hmm. that sometimes a little bit of the structure and you know the actual forming and getting the right structure and the right shape and the lateral sides like I feel like we've kind of lost focus on that little bit of art so I was really happy that you wanted to to go in this direction for this broadcast. I know that like we see trends that keep repeating themselves mm -hmm. um, I know Richard and I were vis even visiting about that the other day that if trends didn't repeat themselves we wouldn't have seen a repeat of the dip system nope. right so, yeah I, I have this feeling, like just watch. I mean, the <laughs> nudes have been really, really big this last year. I really feel that pink and whites are getting ready to make a big, very strong comeback. We're gonna start yeah. seeing some different variations of them, but I think they're getting ready to come back. So I'm gonna so. say, if anybody happens to start seeing pink and white, remember you heard it here. Man. <laughs> we were ahead of it, we were here. So our first, <laughs> our first video that we're going to talk about while it's playing, while you viewers are watching, is we're gonna watch Phoenix do her prep work. Mm -hmm. This is just preparing her nails yeah. for the application. So let's go to that video and then we're gonna have Phoenix talk us through what her steps are and how she goes about yeah, that. Absolutely, and if there's any questions as you guys are watching this video, yeah. if you would please just ask them because we're here to answer those for you. Um, a lot of times if you're having different problems, lifting, for example, is always because maybe something's wrong with your preparation. So if you're having those mm -hmm. kinds of issues, please ask questions. Please, please. <laughs> All right, so roll that application video, Tom. First off, check out these incredible nail beds. I know, right? our, our little, we, we scored Brittany off of a demo day. Yeah, she's pretty amazing. So we're just pushing back the cuticles here. Um, we're using the Manny Pro, the Manny Pro um, just cuticle pusher, which, which is good. And uh, here we're using the enhancement preparation bit. Now I especially like this because I want to say for people who are always worried about lifting at the cuticle, usually it's because they didn't get all the cuticle. Yeah, and I, I feel agree. like when you're just scraping, you know, the naked eye doesn't always see it. So with the enhancement prepper bit, you're sure you got it all off. That'll rock your world if you're not doing this already. And making sure that you go down the nail plate as opposed to side to side, I feel that's something that's very important. Um, it's almost like taking sanding paper and going against the grain. Make sure that you stay, you know, yeah. <laughs> with the growth of the nail plate. Absolutely, that's the most important thing. Right, so um, I love this bit. You actually, it's right at around 250 is the 250 grit. 250 grit at the slowest speed setting. Mm -hmm. So when you turn on your Manny Pro Passport, it's literally just, just a click. click. Yeah. And that's all the... Anytime we use anything on the natural mm -hmm. nail bed at Koopa, we always say slowest speed setting. And very, very gentle. Never, you know, angle down and keep that parallel to the nail plate. <laughs> Here we are, nice and prepared. Of course, we always remove the dust. I know, I, I should have gotten a red brush. I wasn't thinking very good. <laughs> That's okay, I love hot pink. Hot pink is always hot good. Hot pink brush there. <laughs> All right, so now before we move on, we, the, the next video will be form application. Right, so um, this is just starting to repeat itself. Yeah, there itself we go. It's going to repeat itself. So before we go on to that, um, I just want to say, that if you aren't being meticulous with your with your prep work and you're having any kind of you know lifting or any kind of product adhesion issues that's usually your first check mm -hmm. usually your first check also another you know tidbit i always think of is if you're using different brands 
Some people Definitely. will use like a different brand of say, dehydrator and primer from another mm -hmm. company yeah. with another product, acrylics. So if you do that too, sometimes you can get like a chemical is you know, issue. Yeah, or... I think a lot of times people don't really understand that the the chemists that work for these companies, like they work specifically to make everything work together. It's right in our system. Mm -hmm. So uh, same with Coupa, there's absolutely no difference there. So make sure that you're using everything in order that we are recommending. And then if you send me a message or you are trying to troubleshoot with, hey, I have lifting, we're gonna ask you, what are you using? I need to know that first and foremost. So, so Phyllis Car Carlson is our first question, and she oh, was just great. asking for the name of the bit again. And even though Rachel's in there and she's doing her quick work, right? She's it's fast. The, <laughs> it's the enhancement prepper bit. Yeah. It looks like Koopa's manicure bit, but the manicure bit is a thousand grit, and the right. enhancement prepper bit is two hundred and fifty grit. And I do want to say this just because it can be kind of if you're a hand filer and you're mm -hmm. prepping the natural nail with a hand file. When your hand is moving, the dust gets dispersed differently than when you're using an e-file. So while it looks like there's a lot of dust falling on that nail during the prep, it's not any different than a hand file. No. It's just, it's dropping with the revolutions back on the nail. Right. As it's opposed like to dispersing when your hand's moving with a hand file. Right. So right. I felt that was important we had to mention. And for those of us that work in the salon and you may be sitting behind that table eight or 10 hours a day, um, using that hand file over and over and over again, it just really kind of wears your body out. So make sure that, you know, I love being able to work smarter, not harder. I know that's always something we preach. Always. Yep. Because the last thing you want too is you would do all this hard work and then your client shows up two weeks later and has all this lifting and nails popping off. We've all been down that road absolutely, before. Absolutely, absolutely. So the next part, I, I particularly said let's separate the form application from the prep because forms are either everybody loves it or hates <laughs> right, it. And right. I feel like if you hate forms, it's just probably you haven't had the right exposure. Oh, to form yeah. application. I yeah. love your form application. Thank you. I actually Thank tried you. it for the first time oh. in Nail Pro Pasadena. Yep. I put you on the spot at educator training <laughs> and had Phoenix give the, you know, the other educators her form application. And so yeah. when I was demoing at Nail Pro Pasadena, I it used works. your trick. It works so well. Love it. So well. No seepage, no nothing leaking, no, no weak spots. Great tight C curves. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. So let's go to the footage let's of Phoenix applying her nail forms. Yeah. And I'm going to keep watching the chat. So ask me any ask questions. Ask questions. Get ready. We're getting ready for between videos. I want to hear all these questions. This yeah. is <laughs> getting ready to So happen. we're back to Brittany's beautiful hands. <laughs> and here's our Koopa form. Now Which you I you love. weren't doing anything extreme, so we no. took that extra extra right. extension of the form. I off. made kind of a big deal about removing that actually because yeah. I love that it, it's extendable. Basically, um, when you take out that little center dot, just put it center, um, never like crooked or cockeyed. It's really important because if you do, your nail will be crooked, and you don't want that. That's completely in your control. Rolling it between your fingers to make it nice and like pliable. I actually slid it up under her nail, but as you can see, Brittany has very long hyponychium. So using cuticle scissors, I actually kind of like scrape it in uh, where I want to cut. You actually want to cut that, cute, that form just a little bit um, so that you don't have leakage. You don't have a weak spot. You Which need it is to funny you should better. say that because Tiffany Marie just said, I love forms, but the only problem I get with them is they sometimes get a gap between the nail ah, and the form. Here we go. So here's your fix, Tiffany. <laughs> right. So you see, we're actually just cutting that to fit. It's like we've always had this, um, I guess, pre notion that we're not allowed to cut those forms. Well, why? Yeah. You know, Taylor. make it fit. And that also ups your game as a technician and it increases your value as well. So Tiffany said that just answered her question. Oh, That's yay. what we're here for, <laughs> Tiffany. So we're able to slide that and you can see it fits very good. Yeah. Now I'm actually scoring two more places I want this to This is what you changed my world yeah. with. So I'm cutting at a 45 degree angle right where um, the side wall and the free edge meet. And what that does is it acts almost like a corset to that natural nail. Um, it also allows your product to stop flowing 
And I kind of like the name that you came up with. I got with. the tuxedo. <laughs> yeah. Watch as she puts it on the, on the nail. When she tightens that form up, it causes those, she pulls the wings back. Yep. And it causes the entire form to kind of look like a tuxedo lapel. Yep, it and the, sure does. The thing I like about this application difference, what I learned, because you're never too old to learn, right? Right. Um, was when you did this, you take a lot of pinching out of pinching. I do. Uh, I, a lot of techs don't like to pinch the nail to get a tighter C curve because mm -hmm. they're worried about causing damage, and you should be if you don't know how to do it correctly. Right. But this technique of what you just did, see, there's the tuxedo. Um, and then getting those tabs, I want to, I just totally moved my thought because get those tabs lined up. That'll yeah. also get it on straight. Absolutely. Yeah. But anyways, yeah, that sure. changed my world because you're going to see she's not going to pinch later as much as you would normally because she's done it in her form application. So a little this, bit of prep work. Yeah, we still just had a left. little bit. But I always like Peace, to put love. my I like to put my form on before I do this part because I just feel like with all of the work right around your fingers. Like at least then I know I'm not touching any of the dehydrator. I think it's a great or the acid-free primer. So I one thing yeah. I love about the names of our products: peace, love, and harmony. Yes. So peace is our dehydrator at Koopa, mm -hmm. and love is an acid-free primer. Yeah. The harmony comes at the end Very with end. the oil, but it's cute. It's easy to remember what order each product goes in when you can just remember peace, love, and harmony. Yeah. It's a good looking form set up right there. <laughs> so Alyssa Smith, I have, uh -huh. um, has made a beautiful comment. She says, I've got to come see you at the premiere show to learn more about how to do this in person. Oh yes, please do Alyssa. Um, you know, we have these demo booths for a reason because we want you to be able to touch and feel, um, use these products, you know, firsthand. We want to be able to support you the best that we can. And a lot of times it's like having a play day to begin with. So, so here's another cute one, Brittany Chin, who yes. is the hand model, you guys, uh -huh. is, in, is in the chat and she, she is a nail tech. She's mm -hmm. been coming to our demos. That's how we discovered her beautiful hands. Uh, but her comment's fantastic. cute because she says, Koopa Forms is a bomb. They're so sticky, they don't budge at all. I, and I want to echo that. Yes. I have never ever been a fan of applying forms to all the nails because I've always had to worry about one moving. Mm -hmm. But th these are almost too difficult to get off. They exactly. stick so well. So, so you do that. Yep, I is do. Is that something you started doing because of competitions or, or is it just because the forms started to stay with that adhesive? Well, actually both, like to answer that question, both. In a competition, you know, time is everything. So yeah. you want to make sure that you are, you know, on top of it. Plus you get into your routine, into your flow, uh -huh. right? So all 10 and then I would do, you know, the next step. But also with the Koopa forms, because they were so sticky, that made such a big difference. And like you said, you could do all 10 of them and they weren't going to move. Even Brittany, she said, uh, when we were doing her nails, she was worried because her fingers were starting to sweat a little bit. And I was like, ah, don't worry, no problem. <laughs> you know? here's, a, here's another, this is a beautiful comment. It's from Tiffany again. Aww. I love that you're so interactive, Tiffany. She says, Phoenix is amazing. She loves to help out tech. She once called me during cooking her dinner mm -hmm. to help me on how to fix a problem I was having and oh my god it changed my nail life. Aww. See this is what I was saying. <laughs> she you really do I'm glad give an extra I'm mile glad. for your fans. No, that was the thing. Um, Tiffany had she had a couple of things and we were just messaging back and forth and I just said, Give me your phone number, let me call you real quick. So and she was working too. She was doing nails at the same time. So. You never know what time of day there's right. going to be a daily emergency. <laughs> right. Secure McLawson is in the um, chat. Oh, and he's, hey he's, he's sending a thank, a thank you out to you, Richard, because of the reminder he didn't miss the opportunity oh, to watch. I love that. Uh -huh. I love that. Yolanda Gutierrez says hi, Richard, and every Koopa, everyone at the Koopa team. I love that. Um, oh, Felix, Phyllis Carlson. Wow, this is awesome front cut but never sides. I agree. See, I always say you're never too old to learn. Mm -mm, and mm -mm. really, I've met techs who have sat in, you know, trainings or classes and walked away and went and learned nothing. And I don't care who you are, yeah. you could weren't learn one thing. Like last, I don't know, a few months ago, I learned about pouring the monomer down mm -hmm. the, the barrel of the brush yeah. into that so tiny like, daffodil. Yeah. I've been doing nails for 20 some odd <laughs> years. I didn't even know that. She just turned 26 yeah. today. And now I learned, yeah, uh -huh. I learned, <laughs> I learned um, the cutting of that form <laughs> and your tuxedo wings. Like you can't, 
I think if you say you've got nothing left to learn, yeah. you might as well move on. It's time because to change you're, jobs. It's not, you, you're, you're not incapable of learning things, you're just not paying attention well, so to on, learning things. On that note, there's a couple of things. Um, a lot of people say, hey, I want to be an educator, I want to be an educator, I want to be an educator. I think mm -hmm. it's this really glorious uh, position. And something that I will tell everybody who wants to be an educator, the best educator is first of all the best student. Yeah. So learn as much as you can because there's always more to learn. So. Niece Norwood says she has about five of your live videos <laughs> saved so that she can go back and watch them for tips. I love That's that. That's the beauty of, of these videos and being mm -hmm. on Facebook Live is they never go away. They're all yeah. still there. And so many people are saying they aren't in love with the current forms and so they're going to try the new forms. <gasps> oh, so good. Thank you. Good. And you know what I didn't mention and I should have mentioned, of course, always, everybody's a winner here. So 25% off with promo code Koopa TV. And so if you're gonna get the forms, do it before Friday at midnight and oh, you'll save 25% yeah. on them. Now's the time, folks. And we have um, some amazing, like the acrylic trial kits and starter kits and things like that, that if it's this is mm -hmm. not a product you've been using, here's a really good opportunity to try it. So especially as we're going through the videos, people are going to be like, oh my goodness, I Am want that. <laughs> Amber Dawn is missing a day at the salon with a terrible cold, but she's not missing out on oh, learning anything. Oh, good. Good oh, job. That just That's awesome. made my heart flutter. Yeah. So. I'm sure you guys are all excited as I am to move on to the application portion right. of this, this broadcast. Because this is to me, this is money. Right. This is where it is. Like <laughs> yeah. save this, go back to it, watch it again later, right. you know, so you're right. not gonna miss it. You can rewatch it several times. But And you know, I've had seasoned technicians who've done nails for like twenty years and they still say, I struggle with pink and white, I struggle with pink and white. I and struggle so with pink and white still. It's I I did through my entire career. You can give me color powder and I I can bang out a flower or do something really cool with it, sure. but pink and white was my kryptonite. Yeah, I hated yeah. pink and white. I think that turns people a lot off to comp like to competing a lot yeah. because they're like, I don't want to do a pink and white. I don't want to do a pink and white. Well, this is your opportunity to learn some cool stuff. So. so let's check out that application video and see how Phoenix works her yeah. magic on these nails. I just wiggle my nails on Brittany's beautiful <laughs> nails. <laughs> So she's using, of course, Koopa Divinity Powder, mm -hmm. and she's gonna be using quite a few colors. She has cover pink, she has pink, she has so, several um, different, you know what, I have a feeling. Yeah, so, okay, okay so. Okay, we just skipped something. Yeah, we skipped can something. We, can we pause the video a moment? For just a second. This is an editing hiccup. Hold on, just pause. He can't okay, pause so it. Okay, so basically, I can just go for a second. So what I did is I used, um, Cover pink I used first. cover pink first. That got I, edited out by accident. Yeah, on accident. So I used cover pink and I extended the nail bed. But here I am going back through with just a translucent pink mm -hmm. um, and just kind of sharpening that smile line just a little bit. Now the idea of using a translucent pink on top of cover pink is actually a competition trick. It makes your nails look more natural because sunlight can go through yeah. the translucent pink where it cannot go through the cover pink. So kind of puts the three-dimensional back into it, it whereas the cover pink is so dense you don't really, you lose kind of like the, the, the true nail look of it. Yeah. But so, so she did, we, what I will do, what I'll say is we're gonna add the missing piece to our chat maybe yeah. comments or on our Facebook later yeah but or if you have do, any questions like yeah. I'm totally willing so this so. was another trick I saw you do you leave your form on after the cover pink and the clear pink have both gotten to a point where they're yeah, hard enough they're both hard and mm -hmm. explain why okay so I leave my form on because of course we're gonna come back through with our white I'm just using the file just a smidge to clean up that that free edge that's all I'm doing um, and I even leave the dust on the nail. I know that that sounds a little bit uh -huh. funny, but when you're filing, you want to file towards your client, not down. Please don't lose that seal. Um, if you lose that seal, when you flip the hand over, you'll actually see that that white will seep underneath and you've lost that beautiful crisp line. Mm -hmm. So, and that is something that judges look for in competing as well, yeah. you know, and our clients will look, look at it too, so. 
So here we have white. And Miss Dill, also in editing, she a trick she did, you dipped in your monomer, you I, cleaned off the brush. Yep, I actually and you did cleaned, that right there. Oh, there you go, there yep, it is. Okay, I was worried go. that we were missing that. Yep. You are cleaning that smile mm -hmm. line so that there's no dust and it's all crisp and clean and nice ready for that clean. white ball. Something to remember when you're working with different acrylic powders is depending on the uh, pigmentation, they will need a different amount of liquid or um, a different ratio. Mm -hmm. So before I even get going, I'll make a couple balls of pink, I'll make a couple balls of white before I actually put it on the nail so I know how my product is reacting that day. I so. love how slowly you move. I do I think move people, so slow. I think people, <laughs> especially new techs, they feel so panicked to beat yeah. the cure time of white acrylic when they're doing their smiles and they're just working so fast. But as you can see, you're very slow and this and is real time. This isn't like yep, slowed down and not no. sped up. You're this very controlled and real calm time. and methodical yep. in your application. Mm -hmm. It's almost really relaxing. Uh, my brain says a whole different thing when I'm doing it. Right. <laughs> She's like, be it's slow, like, da, 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 but my brain says go da, da, fast. Da, 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 da. So, and you know, a lot of times we have this mentality. I know um, I was taught from a very young age, try and do the one ball method. Yeah. You know? But and look, you even had one little area. You went back and you area. did a little touch up. Yep. Any tricks about that though to make sure that the balls match? Yeah, absolutely. Make sure that your ratios are exactly the same. And then when you press it in, if you kind of feather out, you can see I did it right there. Right. Feather out so that it um, blends all the way across the top of that ball. So across the free edge there. Mm -hmm. So I know that a lot of people are like, I want to see nail art. I want to see, you know, fancy. We just got wowed with NTNA for a week. Right. You know? So I know this is, it feels basic, but it's also something that so many people are asking mm -hmm. for. Oh, now we have uh, options. Yeah, so we have here's, two. Here's a little trick. Here's option one. This These, is from our Tech Tools collection. Yeah. It's one of our, um, our just tweezers. <laughs> tweezers. Yeah. I just totally brain farted on You did. That. They're just tweezers. Yeah, they're actually. just tweezers. Um, but look sure, at that. Make sure that the inside of the tweezers are flat, though. Sometimes tweezers like come out and they're like yeah. bowed. Make sure or they're nice pick. and flat tweezers, you can actually just slide that right up onto the nail. What's so cool about this tool is you can use that um, for any of even your extreme shapes. Like you could, you see how it comes down to Yeah, you could do a long extended, you know, stiletto nail stiletto and nail, use those. You still use those tweezers. We do have options. We so do. This is another great option. Yeah, great this option. is the four in one tool at Koopa where you can push back the cuticle, clean under the nail, you can measure the length of a nail competitors. Yep. And then you can do a little bit of filing on the free edge with the texture of the side. Mm -hmm. And then of course, the most important thing is you can Wah. pinch. <laughs> it so like this was showing, and this does a reverse pinch. So if you have people who are a little sensitive, the tool itself is doing the squeezing. You're not doing the squeezing. Correct. So it's a reverse. I love tool. that angle of I this too. particular nail. It, it makes me so happy. Of course, I love that my nails are Cooper red. Yeah, it was well planned, <laughs> well timed. And once everything is completely Alisa set. Alisa Schmidt, she's mm -hmm. so cute. She says, how do you not have your pink and white not looking thick looking? You actually do though. You, she, she puts more weight on the nail and you'll see when she starts filing, it's almost like those smile lines and where the white meets the pink and you'll see it in the finishing video. Okay, it's looping back Tom. Um, you'll see <laughs> when she goes to filing, you do take quite a bit off and it, it's like you magically reveal this amazing looking smile line. <laughs> right. It was my favorite part of watching you prepare on when, on yeah. Monday when we like filmed Like every this. time she says, that was my favorite part. No, that was my I know all of them were. Didn't you know that my form it. fitting was her favorite part? Everything, I know I can <laughs> say it. Everything is my favorite part. But you know, there's just this thing when you're applying, you know, everything mm -hmm. looks good and stuff, but you know it looks better when you get to the finishing work. Absolutely, in, and absolutely. And you wait, when we get to the finishing part, you guys are gonna like this. Well, and what I tell people is that when you're bringing that cover pink and then the white together it's almost like this little shelf that you've mm -hmm. built together and it's a little bit higher in the top and then as you file it down everything is very very crisp together 
So it's Mindy Jones says, yes, definitely can use as many tips as possible on pink and white. Thank you for sharing your tips and tricks oh, with us. Oh, yeah. Mindy had asked a question earlier. Um, she was okay. saying, do your hands not get as tired with an e-file as they do with a hand file? Ooh. Which is a great question. Um, you know, repetitive movement is what causes a lot of uh, technicians to end up having to have carpal tunnel surgery. And like we were saying, mm -hmm. working smarter, not harder. Um, when you're hand filing, it's not just your wrists, Mindy. It's your uh, elbows, it's your shoulders. All of it. It's your back. everything. You have to sit kind of crooked on your chair. There's all things that are involved with mm -hmm. that. So with using an e-file, and especially the Mani Pro Passport, the torque is perfect and the speed, the, um, the hand piece itself is very mm -hmm. light. Like only a matter of a few ounces in your hand and then of course zero vibration. So it's something that I... It is really important. I a lot of people it. who have never used one just don't realize that it mm -hmm. does cut back on the wear and tear of your body. Yeah. I think if you've never used one, they tend to just be, you guys tend to be a little scared of the machine and it can be intimidating, but sure. we have bits sure. for beginners. We you do. Know? And, we do. And, and just a promo for next week, <laughs> <laughs> we're going to do a very extensive video uh, yeah. show on bits. Bits. So, um, <laughs> Tiffany Marie says, pink and white terrified me for the longest time, but man, this method changed everything. And then she also has a question for you. So I okay. want to read this. How do you keep from getting squared size when you use your pinching tool? How do you keep oh, from getting squared size? That is such a great question mm -hmm. and, and good, like good, because everybody asks Everybody this. will learn from this. And I also have been guilty of doing it. It's really just waiting long enough where your product is still pliable, but not soft that you're going to lose that. Mm -hmm. So they say it depends on the rate of liquid and of course how hot the room is that, yeah. that you're in but I actually feel it with my fingers and I'll like pinch down a little bit to make sure that it's not even moving at the top, but it's still pliable enough for me to put my pinching mm -hmm. tool on it. And it's really just a matter of practice. So. Louise Lemieux would like to know what kind of n or what number and kind of brush that you use. Oh, okay, so that was a sculptor size 10. It's so pretty and mm -hmm. right now I know this for a fact Okay, with a 25% off code, you can get that brush for like $16. Yeah, you guys. <laughs> used to the show prices. <laughs> I'm used to the show prices now. So it's Suki very... guessed. Did he? Well, he oh, knew. good he job. Goes, I think Phoenix uses an 8 or a 10. It's a 10. Yeah, it's he recognizes 10. it because I sent him all the goodies. And a lot too. of people, like even the show uh, this weekend, I had girls saying, you know, I want to use a 16 or uh, like a very large brush because mm -hmm. they wanted to do like a one ball method. But you saw that I was able to pick up one ball of acrylic with my 10 mm -hmm. to do, you know, the white free edge or even the extended nail bed. Alyssa so. Schmidt is asking us, does Koopa have pedicure bits? We do. Oh. And we've actually just trained the girls yeah. on doing our new pedicure class. So I'm hoping to get that scheduled soon. It'll be on the website when it is. Yeah. But we do. Um, our class now will be at RPM manicure mm -hmm. slash pedicure class. It, the RPM was just a little too quick for an eight hour day. So if you come to the training facility here in Anaheim, California at Koopa Inc, <laughs> where it's just so state of the art and amazing, we have real pedicure chairs. They, yeah. you know, have the vibrating, vibrating massage and, and <laughs> yeah, the, the bowls and everything. So that's a really good class. And I'm going to say it yeah. rocks my world when I saw this technique on pedicuring. If I was in a salon, I wouldn't do anything but this. Exactly. It was incredible. And the difference between like a wet pedicure and a dry pedicure and being able to use an e-file versus like those giant foot files, mm -hmm. once again, saving your wrist, elbow, shoulders, your arms, like everything to uh -huh. make a pedicure better. So Mindy Jones wants to know what's your best advice for preventing back and neck problems? Um, posture, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Your posture is a necessity. Making sure that the way you sit is ergonomic. There are a lot of different options for chairs and tables. If your table is too high, you're going to crunch up your neck and shoulders. Mm -hmm. If it's too low, you're going to bend over at the waist. So ergonomics. Um, ergonomics. Ergonomics. One hundred. I know people now who actually sit on balls. Mm -hmm. Like instead of a chair, they're actually yep. sitting on a ball. Yep, I've done that. Uh, hi, Daniel Fu. We see you. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> My poem. Elsa Jones too is saying hi to us both. So oh, I thought I was saying. Wonderful. I like to say when I see those. 
Um, Elisa's cute. She, I'm still looking for questions, yeah, so we don't have to go to finish. Yeah, she keeps in contact with me a lot. Um, oh, we have from Norway, and I'm going to butcher this beautiful oh. name. I think it's Lila Lahasalu. Lahasalu. She says, hello from Norway. So so informative video. Thanks. Need Aww. to make a big order. Oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We love you. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay, so yay, awesome about the pedagogy. When is the class? We've got to get it booked. Uh, Amanda Chin wants to come to the training, but she's in Jamaica. It's okay. It's all come right, man. <laughs> Maybe we'll hop on a plane Jamaica. and go to Jamaica. <laughs> right. It's time to go on the road. Well, and that's some of the things like we've really been looking at, um, trying to see how we can get a lot of this education yeah. to be very accessible for people. Of course, this is one way, and it's a it's a this really is a great good way because we can get to a lot of people, but it's right. not the same. It's not the same. Lucy, I would love to teach everybody. Yeah, Lucy Perez, a regular of ours, yes. is just giving accolades to the fact that the training room is so awesome and gorgeous because she so has beautiful. been here. Hi, Lucy. I wish we had all these pictures we could pull up for you, but yeah, it is beautiful. Tiffany Marie yeah. has another good question for you. Okay. And I'm so, I want to say, if you're like, just like, oh, she only asked from one person, she is asking brilliant questions. Okay. And I feel like voicing them is great. good for everybody. And if you have questions, yeah, just ask she's got them. great. She says, <laughs> we'll do is it. The white acrylic, a pure white, or does it have a shadow? And then I'm going to give you two. She also says, "How would you say the acrylic texture is?" So oh. texture and the and the coloring on the white. Okay, What's your opinion? so the coloring on the white, it is a pure white acrylic. If you're getting shadowing, that is a matter of your ratios. If you're getting any kind of like marbleization where you see like a little bit of like a purpley or a bluey line, that means that you're using too much liquid, liquid. too wet of a ball, yeah. okay? So pretty much any white that I've ever used should be a pure white pigment. Of course, ours is the best. I love our acrylic. And the texture is like butter. It is I know, so I love it. nice. Really, you can tell by looking at that video yeah. when you're applying it, yes. just the, the mo movement. and. And we didn't like cut a lot of time out of there. She went right to pinching. I mean, our, our acrylic does set up at such a brilliant pace that we even have another liquid yeah. that you can use to do nail art that changes the speed or yeah. slows down the, the setup. And something you noticed, or maybe you didn't notice, but I'm going to point out, when I was um, actually getting my acrylic liquid and I drug it into my white powder, I didn't do the flip over upside down on the towel trick. Yeah, a lot to pull of liquid out. A lot of people do that to pull out liquid. That, there's a couple problems with that. One, you're not practicing enough for your ratios. Mm -hmm. And two, that's a lot of money that's going right down the drain. Yeah, okay, waste don't money. do that. So, <laughs> uh, I want to give a shout out because Dana Cecil is in the room oh, and she's one of our Dana. NTNA beauties. Um, she loves Koopa so, Lives, but would love so to sit with us both. Uh, well, would love guess that. what, Dana? We're going to be in Florida, Squirrel yeah, let's, Girl. Let's make that a thing. <laughs> yeah, so you have your people. Call our people, people, and we'll get together in Florida. Which really just means send me a message. Seriously, it really does, because it's just, okay. just FaceTime me, girl. Um, all right, so should we move on to Absolutely. finish finally? Keep your questions coming. Um, because I am keeping, I mean, this yeah. is moving fast. Yeah, she's going I'm usually on able it. to keep up with it and just keep it like over I here, but fantastic. you guys are, you guys are rolling fast. I'm Which like, this might be a five so, man job. It makes me so glad though. Thank you. Yeah. For so let's check out the footage okay. of, of Phoenix finish filing her pink and white beauty. Yep. Oh yeah. And you can yeah. tell us what you're doing. I will it. do it. Okay, so of course, um, Koopa's files are top of the line. They are beautiful. This is um, a 100-180 grit, so it's all it's wonderful. This is actually the file buffer. I See? love this Both because sides. stay law. You have to throw it away or give it away so to your client. So right. do it all in one file. Don't do it yep. in two files. Yep. So that's the one I'm using. I so, love that you're a perimeter girl. I am. I'm a perimeter girl. It always I starts am. at the perimeter for me. Always. I feel like I don't want to go across the top because you can't see how pretty your nail is until you get the perimeter done first. Mm -hmm. um, making sure to not cut into the side walls. And I'm pointing that out actually at this moment. Oh, lateral I, sides is a yes, pick I of mine. I am not cutting into that wall. 
there's some problems there. First off, it causes damage to the natural nail. Yes. And then you lose the strength of that structure. So make sure and that And it's you... also where it gets caught in my hair yep. when yep. it's been done to me yep. wrong. So that's why I wanted to turn her hand sideways specifically for you to be able to see that. So While then... she's talking, I am seeing all your questions about products and I do have Rachel in there who will help us hit them. I just want to make sure she's able to keep talking about yeah. the demonstration and I don't want to interrupt. So no, it's keep totally going, okay. beautiful. We'll, keep we'll going, beautiful. So I actually just use the hand file just for my perimeter and then I bring in the Manny Pro Passport. It's such a pretty mm -hmm. machine. Isn't that beautiful? You're getting great comments on your nail. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. So this is a Typhoon Radius bit. It's actually a safety bit, you guys. For, so for those mm -hmm. of you that are a little bit afraid of using a machine, this would be an excellent starter bit. This one is in medium. Mm -hmm. Okay. I, I love this one too because it has straight sides versus our regular Typhoon, which has more of a football-y shape. Yep. So yep. this one is good for getting around those cuticles. Mm -hmm. I like She's to, showing the speed. Yeah, the How speed. nice of her to do this for you guys. <laughs> Um, it's right at noon. <laughs> like I know that's, that's what we call it, noon, it, which is on our machine about 15,000 15, RPM, halfway, yeah, halfway. RPM. So pull our beautiful model in here. It just, it makes me excited to see such a pretty nail and we're not I even know, done yet. I know, I so, know. Here's where the magic's going to yeah, happen. Yeah, we're going to go around the cuticle and you can see, like, look at that dust just fly. I love it. Come down the It's nail. rewarding when you get to this part and you have it a good bit is. and you can just watch it come off. It is. So now I'm going it once again down the, like straight down and still all at 15,000 RPMs. You can see where that little, uh, the wall that we had built up between the cover pink mm -hmm. and then the white, how that we're mm -hmm. filing that right down. This is such a good shot. <laughs> Daniel likes your carbon fiber file, which I always like to give a shout out for the boys because yes. everything here isn't pink and fluffy because we know we have no. manicurists. It's, yeah, <laughs> manly yeah. manicurists. Yeah, carbon fibers for you, Daniel, and all anybody else who feels like, you know, they just don't want a pink and fluffy file. You know, I, um, I actually met a man uh, at the show in Pasadena and he said that he's like, everything Koopa is mm -hmm. so masculine. So this is the diamond bait. Yep. Okay. Yep. Yeah, so this is the diamond barrel. Yeah, that was Richard at Nail Pro. That our our yeah, buddy Richard. Our buddy Richard. Our buddy Richard. We saw you in Pasadena if you're watching this, Richard. I did so a tell fantastic me about, nail on I know, him. I want to keep talking about Richard, but I don't want everybody to miss your right. instruction. So we're going to uh, I'm just taking that diamond from one side to the next. Now what's wonderful about the diamond is that it will not hurt the not like the skin side to side, where if you had something with a lot of teeth. Yeah. You know, it could it could do some damage. This one does. This not. is re like a so refining. It's just refining. We're not having to do much. So just Tiffany Marie little. on the last one was saying, okay, only file down from the cuticle or free edge to bring down the white. That's what you did with the carbide before That's you get I over did. to here. Yep. And now because she kind of had a little passes from your carbide, you're using yep. that diamond just to, kind of to refine the mm -hmm. surface and make sure that it's all just one beautiful curved yep. surface. And, and just, then you're back to the hand file. Just finishing, just making sure all those little fringes. Are yeah. Gone. Nothing like uh, putting a top coat on. <laughs> so, and here we're going to use that buffer. We'll just go right across, buff a little bit. But because the diamond finish is so good, yeah, you don't don't even need to have buff long. To do much. It's You're like getting ready for um, a soak off gel top coat. Yep. I love our soak off gel top coat. And voila! What do you think of that? Beautiful. So here comes. And I don't remember if I flip her hand off or flip her hand over, but this is No, I think we're going. This. I remember oh, going. Yeah, I know. I think hopefully we get a shot in there. So this is Koopa's Soak Off Gel Top Coat, which is a tackless top coat. Rock my world. No more cleanser. So I don't know if you noticed that, but when I put my top coat on, I actually um, start a little bit away from the cuticle mm -hmm. and press towards the cuticle and then drag down. That's a really good tip for not flooding those cuticles. And speaking of flooding cuticles, good timing. Ah. Tiff Tiffany Marie says, okay, here's what I really need to know about how you get your product so close to the cuticle. I always have a small gap because I don't want to touch the skin, but yours looks flawless, like it's right up to the skin. It is right up to the skin. <laughs> I have to it think really about is. that for a she minute. Is. Yeah, it is right up to the skin. So, um, and I look, and I've, I've got another question. Okay. Uh, Teresa, you're on deck. I saw your caps. I'm getting you in the next. 
<laughs> so, so you're just, you are stopping just short. That's product control. Absolutely. When you become Obi-Wan Kenobi and one with your product, <laughs> you know, when you got to be one with your product. That's when you know how brush. far you can go. The brush is the extension of your fingers. Yeah. <laughs> um, Teresa Brinkman, in all caps, so I don't miss it. Thank you, because not wearing my glasses today on purpose, because I didn't want to. Right. Um, so how do you know yeah. when to go for, how do you know when to go forward or reverse? Are you a, are on your e-file, do you switch or do you not switch? Some I people do, do, some people switch, don't. But the only time I switch is when I'm working with my left hand. Yeah. So, and not a lot of people do that. I'm ambidextrous, so I'll work with my right hand, especially when I'm doing pedicures, because um, I don't know if many of you know this about me, but when I'm using an e-file and I'm debulking a nail or I'm doing a dry pedicure, mm -hmm. I actually hold the e-file like a potato peeler and I go like this. Mm -hmm. So if I'm switching, great it You're is a good so technique. Fast. A lot of pressure, uh, a lot of control, yeah. so that's important. Um, but if I'm doing a pedicure, I actually can flip to my other hand, mm -hmm. change the direction of how the uh, e-file the e yeah. is going and I can use my other hand. I do know well. some technicians that in doing the enhancement prepper bit or the manicure bit will go forward from the center cuticle left down one way mm -hmm. and they'll go reverse from center of the cuticle right to take the cuticle off that way. I don't particularly do that. I'm, I'm about showing people how to do things quick because there's Quickly. so much pressure on speed in this day and age. And the other thing is too with that, I think that maybe is like a education mentality where we were always taught you file from the corner to the center, corner to the center, yeah. cuticle this way, cuticle this way. That's a good and point. And it's really not necessary, um, uh, especially if you are just really good with your e-file, you're fine. Teresa Brinkman, um, it is kind of a new top coat, but kind of not. We've been selling it for over a year now. Uh, we have base, we have our top, which is tackless, and we have absolutely, by far, the most amazing matte. Uh, matte top coat, gel top coat Ever. known to man. I'm just gonna put it out there and y'all yeah. can prove me wrong because yeah. you buy it, you love it too. Yep. Um, <laughs> That's such a oh good my way. God, this is so funny. Prove me wrong, I love it. Tiffany, <laughs> teach me a wise and powerful oh. phoenix. <laughs> that has to go back to my Obi-Wan <laughs> Kenobi comment. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so Louis, I, I'm I'm behind now because I'm catching up because you guys are sorry. moving so fast. Sorry, sorry. But uh, Louis Lafam Lafa says, ask her how she takes her product off, and you just explain potato peeler. Yep, we potato should have peeler. videoed that. We we had joked about maybe doing taking a nail off, but we did a final photo and yeah. we had a photo shoot yeah. after. There's um, let's lots. see. When using an e-file, this is Alisa Alyssa Schmidt. When using an e-file, should you always have it in? Reverse, oops, everybody just moved me. Um, when you see, you always have it in reverse when you're left handed. I have a very strong explanation of this. Okay. You go first. Well, I was going to say, you go first. It just, a lot I of have it. had righties mm -hmm. start using an e file that was flipped to reverse and not know it because mm -hmm. they're newbies and they just picked up it and turned it on and used it right. and have always used it in reverse. I've had lefties <laughs> who have funny. picked it up in forward and didn't know reverse was for lefties. I think it's just basically a whatever you put it in forward or reverse for the first time and you get working that way, you grow to know it that way. Mm -hmm. There's no rule to it. However, I'm yeah. going to give you just a little word of caution here yeah. and this is where Koopa by far is heads and tails above the rest. A lot of times bits are not cut to be used in reverse. They're only cut to be used in forward. Yep. So where Koopa has bits that are cut for we both, go both directions. We go both ways. We go both ways. Right? <laughs> but that is something to know. So if you're trying to learn a new skill and you start in reverse, you might mm -hmm. be, you know, cutting yourself off at the knees. So just something to remember. Mindy Jones wants to know, is um, it better to use a tackless top when using chrome? Um, when using chrome? So that is definitely a nail art question, Mindy. I know you and I are friends on Facebook, so definitely message me. But yeah, if you're gonna be using a Chrome, you need to use a tack free before you apply your Chrome. But after that, mm -hmm. you're getting all that Chrome off of there. Using the Koopa top coat, either matte or shiny, either one, they work very, it works very well. So. Louis LaFam happens to know that you're a great dancer. Oh my goodness, how do you know this? Louis LaFam says you happen to have great dancing skills too. Oh my goodness, is that because and 
Did you see a video of me on a cruise ship Maybe. winning a dance contest How many drinks or something? <laughs> <laughs> Tiffany Only Marie one. says um, <laughs> it's helping out Nice Norwood. This is what I love about our people. <laughs> Tiffany is telling Nice to make sure she tunes in next Wednesday because I mentioned earlier that we're going to do a video yeah. about our bits. All the bits. Next yeah. week, my guest will be um, our one of our longtime educators, yes. Mie Kitabayashi. And she and I are gonna talk serious talks about she bits. Is. We have a bit. We've been putting you through the ringer doing it's videos okay. a bit. Tell me um, what to do. I'll do it. <laughs> Nathan Hall wants to know: Is the matte top coat milky? I've used a lot of matte top coats, and they all seem to just look cloudy because the product has a milky white mix to it. Nathan is somebody that I love. He's one of my Florida guys. Nathan, hey, how are you? So yes, this one, it looks like it's a little bit cloudy, but that's actually just the chemical way that it's supposed to come on. Once you put it through the light and it cures, it's not cloudy anymore. If it's cloudy, then you're probably Something's using wrong. too much or maybe under curing yeah. a part of it, but it should just be matte. And when I say matte, it is matte. Mm -hmm. You can put cuticle oil right over the top of it and it's still matte. So if that tells you anything, and you know, I'm going to see you in a couple weeks, <laughs> test mine out. I'll let you, you can see it. <laughs> Rachel's already sent me the winner, but I'm not going to announce it, but <gasps> it was funny. We are, I always get these cute little text messages and I love oh, her. I, I, love I, I, I hear you, Rachel. That was funny. <laughs> um, so Alicia, Alisa Schmidt being a lefty is concerned about getting bits that are for lefty. And I will say all of our bits the carbides are cross cut and so yep. are diamonds. Yep. The only ones we have that aren't are the typhoons and we keep working on getting them to cross cut it because they are made by our own people in the United States so kinda, we're working on that for you. Because we love lefties too. Yeah, my son Shouldn't is a lefty. feel left out if you're a lefty. I have a lefty and a righty. My son used to write his name like this. He'd write the first four letters with his left hand and the last four letters with his right hand. Oh, that's cute. But I don't know. Maybe he got that. Maybe he's getting your amb <laughs> ambidextrous. Yeah. Teresa, does Cuba have you file training available year round? Well, we certainly do online. We have lots of it online because we have videos, e but training. we will have lots yeah. of classes up on yeah. our classes. Now that we're getting our our team growing, yeah. I'll finally have more bodies to throw in my classroom. Yeah. Um, ah, Mindy Jones, Chrome is dead? What? Ah. Oh, I, I don't know if that. Somebody, somebody must else? have said Chrome is Did dead. Did somebody say Chrome is dead? I don't think it's quite oh. dead yet. I, Oh yeah, ah. it must have been, it's so Isn't funny. Chrome dead? It's Chrome dead, no. <laughs> they wear it, they put that stuff, you know, like. <laughs> they end up wearing it. Okay, I'm still looking for questions because I want to make sure everybody gets an answer. No, absolutely. And it looks like we're getting, oh, some somebody, oh, Tiffany, Tiffany Marie says pierce nails are coming back. Ah, uh, they are. Yeah. Yes, they are. So I, I had a conversation with Richard about that just the other day because I, uh, I had done some trendy nails that were pierced and remember like old school piercing it was like a screw like a drill bit you used by hand well now you know just looking at me I know some yeah bits. when you have it and can go down through <laughs> yep. um, okay so now did we show the finished look I have we shown the finished image of those beautiful did. nails we did the finish finally we did all but the we haven't filing. seen the money shot i think we need to see the let's the, see the let's see final, those beautiful final. nails so there that's her go. gorgeous set that there we put go. together for this this she did all 10. Yep. she was working really hard it was a great day it was a great it was day a great following day. a really great weekend and i have mm -hmm. a special video i like to do fun little videos sometimes and we have this adorable video of all of us working at the Nail Pro Pasadena show. Yes. And I want to preference this one by saying that our amazing graphics guy, John Tran, you all have heard me talk about him on the show, <laughs> created this on his iPhone mm -hmm. with a gimbal that holds the phone. And he did it all, edited it all, and got it up Everything. online while we were still at the show. Yep. So I wanted to share this cute yes. video with everybody. And it shows everybody how much fun It shows we all have. of us and, and how yeah. busy it was, insanely busy. Yeah, was so good. let's check out this adorable video. And when we come back, I'm going to announce a winner. Thank you. 
Oh no. Are you serious? You guys can't have me make a big deal about a beautiful video and then we have technical <laughs> then problems. Then we can't play it. <laughs> This is what happens when you change the format. Uh, I, I do want to stick up for my team. Right. <laughs> I am about to stick up for my team because we are so devoted to getting this Facebook Live out. Okay, we're on 14 days straight. We did um, preparation for the training. We had everybody show up on Wednesday. We did photo shooting on Wednesday. Mm -hmm. Training on Thursday, Friday. Lot. Set up on Saturday. Show All day on Sunday, Sunday on the show, mm -hmm. take down Sunday night. Mm -hmm. Monday morning we did a demo here and yeah. it was almost all the educators that yeah. were here Open who did a public. full day of demoing yeah. all day while I had you mm -hmm. in the other room doing, doing photo shooting. Yeah. And then um, yesterday we've been shooting all day. All, when yep. poor Tom showed up to our set, <laughs> it was so like pulled apart. These were in my office. So it's been a long week, folks. I'm really sorry for the technical difficulties. And we'll make sure that the the cover pink of your application makes it up on the Facebook. Yeah, we'll have absolutely. the whole video up on YouTube for sure. Um, and then we'll make sure you see John Tran's amazing little yeah, nail pro video. Little video. And like next week, of course, we'll be back. So we'll get our we'll get our crap right. We'll get can all I of our shit? ducks in a row. Not TV. So yeah, I can we'll, say, we'll get our shit together. <laughs> so I want to announce a winner because okay. I feel like nothing brings Yay. a boo boo into the happy place <laughs> as announcing a winner. And today's winner, and I'm going to explain why I was laughing earlier, is Nathan. Nathan Hall. Oh. So it just happened oh, yes. that we were talking about his question at the same time Rachel sent me the text and said that you are the winner today. Congratulations. Right. I love it when kismet things happen. Um, also, for the rest of you, everybody is always a winner. You can go to koopainc.com, mm -hmm. yep. use that promo code uh, Koopa TV and get 25% off until midnight on Friday. Yeah. Um, also, we're here every Wednesday at 11. We're doing Facebook Lives. We're back to our normal nails, nails, nails stuff. So make sure you tune in every Wednesday and watch us live. Like us on Facebook and make sure that you go to our social medias and tune in. On, we are Koopa Inc. on Facebook, on YouTube and Twitter, and we are on Instagram at un, uh, Koopa underscore TV. See, now I'm losing my brain. <laughs> I, I've made it this far. I just got a little further to Trade go. show brain. Yeah. <laughs> Phoenix, I want to thank you thank so you. much. Thank you very much, It's Elaine. always wonderful to have you yeah. on the show. And even better, I scored you on the team. Ah. Oh, my God. <laughs> team Koopa. Best day ever getting Phoenix <laughs> Van Dyke Koopa. on Team Koopa. Um, thank you so much for being yeah, here and for working you. so hard for us yeah. this whole week. I can't believe you're even still smiling and standing up straight. Oh. We're, she's still smiling. I guess I am. Lead I am. by example. And I do, I do, I do want to acknowledge all your beautiful birthday wishes. Thank you to everybody who wished me a happy birthday. <laughs> I'm just trying to ignore it. Not because it's a bad thing. It just the girl who likes to be in front of the camera and on stage talking about nails really doesn't like to be the center of attention. Isn't that weird? I don't know why. <laughs> um, and then always thank you to you, our viewers, for tuning yes. in every week and making yes. us love what thank we do you. so much. Because so without much. you, we wouldn't have this. And um, so we will see you hopefully next to, uh, Wednesday next at 11 Wednesday. Pacific time. Thanks again. Take care. Bye. Bye.